So now Arizona from the 20 yard line. Blitz coming, Matthews. Palmer stepping away at first. Palmer extending the play. Nobody there. Crosses the field. Larry Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald is going to take it into Green Bay territory. Larry Fitzgerald inside the 30. The 20. If he Larry scores, Fitzgerald it's over. It's insane to the four yard line. Brown is the motion man. Little flip to Fitzgerald. He scores. And the Cardinals win an amazing game. Touchdown! Touchdown! Atlanta! Oh, what do you brother? Do you go for two? <laughs> no, heck no, you don't go for two. You got to tie it up. The first thing you have to do is you have to get tied, then you go for a win. I mean, I'm sure that. When he was with the Saints, second down. He gives to Jamal Anderson, and Anderson hammers down to the 23. Wayne Rudd made the stop from 39 yards out. Anderson is good. He knows it. They know it. Gash in the backfield. Still first pitch to Lewis. Left side. Going for the end zone. Lost the football. No, the official says touchdown. It was blown dead. The touchdown. Now that looks different that time. The Giants cannot get the football. Here they would. Let's watch it here. See if we can see it, Greg. Possession, possession. Those Tampa Bay Buccaneers just happy to be in the situation he's in, and just talks about all of his friendships he had with the Buccaneers. Matt Stover from 34 yards out, and the kick is good. The Baltimore Ravens. The time will run out, or at least the clock is now stopped with three seconds to play, but. People are charging the field. Jerry Austin winds the clock, and that will bring Super Bowl 35 to an end. Ray Lewis, the MVP, and what a year that caps for the middle linebacker of the Baltimore Ravens. Doing the throw, little pump fake comes back, hides some time, throws, touchdown for Houston. Little play action fake in the end zone, touchdown. Goes deep, and it is caught. What a catch by Curtis Duncan. Moon goes deep. Touchdown, Houston. Right goes far side. This is intercepted. And down the far sideline is Bubba McDowell. And Houston moves out in front now 34 to 3. Here is Davis. Thanks for the corner. Thanks. Buffalo's first touchdown of the ball game comes with 8.52 left to go on the third. Right to throw. Down the side. Oh, the ball! Right, nice touch. Has another man open. Back to the end zone the is Andre Reid. Still going for it at fourth and five. Into the end zone. Has a man. Touchdown! Buffalo trailing by four. Like the throw. In zone. Touchdown. Marv Levy with the, ex well, semi-excited reaction. And at this point, that's the greatest comeback in NFL history. Down 35 to 3. Now the Bills are up 38 to 35 with a little more than three minutes remaining. 26 yards for the top. And it is good from 26 yards away. We are tied 38-38. We are headed for overtime. Moon needs three yards as the time throws. It is intercepted. Buffalo has the ball. Nate Odom. An attempt of 32 yards for the win. It is right down. to play another blitz from Cousin. He's picked up. The pass is picked off by Manning. Ricky Manning, who had that first overtime interception in St. Louis, steps in front and gets it. Stepped it off the ground. On third down, there's Manning again, another pick. 
Some miscommunication there with Pinkston. And Manning gets his second of the night. Well, there's no question that Ricky Manning has a knack for being around the football. He's playing him inside technique leverage. That's and I terrible. don't know what Pinkston is doing. That's terrible. Obvious miscommunication. Eagles right now. Third down and 13. McNabb guns it. It's in the air, and it's Manning again. Ricky Manning is down to the 37-yard line. Man, oh, man, did Mike Manor lay a hit. As is Shane Burton. Toss to Foster. Foster fighting for the touchdown. What an effort. It looked like he was stopped three different times. And the second year player who missed all of last year after tearing his left knee would not quit. And how many times do we hear people draw comparisons with him and Stephen Davis and say Stephen Davis is the guy, the power runner, Deshaun Foster is the one who wants to bounce it to the outside. Deshaun Foster here definitely getting out on the edge, but look at the power and explosion that he shows here, carrying two, three, four guys with him to get the ball in the end zone. But the Eagles in danger. Here's another blitz. They're still coming. Pinkston, a leap incomplete. There are no penalty flags, and the Carolina Panthers will take over, and they are going to be headed to Super Bowl 38. They'll just be able to take a knee and run this clock out. From the Patriots, leaving them as their all-time score, winning two Super Bowls for them in the end, and having another spectacular postseason. But Devin Hester, the rookie who was so dangerous, who went to college here at Miami, he led the NFC in both kickoff returns and punt returns. And the Colts have had a hard time all season covering kicks. It's Hester trying to work it back to the middle. Gets past the first wave, and here he goes. It's Hester inside the 30. Hester's going to take it all the way for a touchdown. And no flag, 92 yards. the Colts on Thursday directional kick outside the numbers they've got him but what happens when you're so worried about Devin Hester you don't attack in most kickoff teams they attack so they're catching and when you're catching the blocks all of a sudden you cannot react and Devin Hester finally goes look there's a big opening he takes it and he just outruns everybody even watching himself on the jumbotron as he trots in he finally found contact from giordano but not until the goal line and rex grossman you are spotted a seven point lead you know jim you talk about the kickoff it was outside the numbers lovey smith they've seen it so often this year we've seen Devin Hester. this could be a sentence that a month ago would sound incomprehensible from 31 yards McPherson and Cincinnati is heading to the Super Bowl. He called it again, I'm sure. He walked up and he goes, Can you believe, coach? We're going to the Super Bowl. And they did it. They beat Mahomes at home. Wow, Joe Burrow. No way. Only two quarterbacks have won an FBS national title game and a Super Bowl. And that's Joe Namath and Joe Montana. And Joe Burrow's trying to be the third. Metcalf is the deep back with Keith Jones and Oliphant up on the wing. Metcalf at the 10. To the 20. 30. 40. 90 yards. Speed still kills you. And Eric Metcalf has speed. First ever kickoff return in postseason for Cleveland. Notice how he slowed down. The backup quarterback, Pago, is the holder. The dog pound says it all. There's one as a man open and complete. Thurman Thomas is off on the right wing. It is intercepted at the one. 
Matthews. The Cowboys never had trouble getting to the big games. Winning them was always the problem. In Super Bowl VI, they faced an up-and-coming team, the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins' defense was built on speed and pursuit, and those traits were personified by Nick Bonacanti, their middle linebacker. The Cowboys' strategy was to take his best assets and convert them into liability. The film work paid off. Dwayne Thomas led the Cowboys with 95 yards rushing. As a team, they piled up a record 252 yards on the ground. The Cowboys disguised their runs and had Bonacante, number 85, going the wrong way all day. Dallas moved the ball effortlessly and gave ground reluctantly. Miami managed three points. For the only time in Super Bowl history, a team was held without a touchdown. For Bob Lilly, the cowboy who had endured the most hardship, it was his finest hour. Number 74 authored the game's signature play. Early in the fourth quarter, the Cowboys had a three-touchdown lead. The final minutes were a coronation and a chance for reflection. Long time. Nice. Congratulations. I'm really happy. For the Cowboys and their fans, the final seconds were counted down like a New Year's celebration. I remember Coach Landry being lifted off the shoulders of the player. And the Panthers have a third and ten. Here comes pressure, and they've gotten to him. The ball is out in the end zone, and it's recovered by Malik Jackson for the touchdown. It was Vaughn Miller with the strip sack, and Jackson with the recovery. Nobody opened down the tight end to the right. Here it comes. Mike Rimmers just can't get there fast enough. And Cam Newton holding the football, looking to throw it down the field. A meeting here of the first and second picks of the 2011 draft. Newton first, Miller second. And Miller, as he did, such a gigantic force against New England. If you can keep it outside to stop the clock to get a big play outside, that's a gift from the football guys. 40 yards. And here is Stafford's pass, and Calvin Johnson stopped at the one-yard line. The Detroit Lions, no timeouts left. Time is running. They're at the one, and Stafford says, come on in. Reaches over. Touchdown. And again, you knew it had to be Calvin Johnson to kind of get the thing started. Now they're going to come back and make sure Calvin Johnson doesn't get involved. Great, great play right here to bring it down to the one yard line. And then smart move by Stafford. Nor you thinking we're going to clock it, we're going to clock it. That's what Dallas thought. You could see there was no push by the defensive line. They thought it was just going to clock it because of the time. That post game news conference I was talking about. Yeah, right. The demeanor just changed a little bit. All those cameras that were in the Dallas locker <laughs> in the media room, that all just went to Detroit. 12 come from behind victories. He's calling clock, but he's got some kind of verbiage or something to tell that offensive line. Or he just did it on his own. I'm watching the offensive line of the Detroit Lions. They had no idea Matthew Stafford was doing that. 
Rodgers looking left, comes to his right. Jennings! Touchdown! He's expecting the seam route, and Greg Jennings runs an excellent route, gets him to bite, goes to the corner. Aaron Rodgers. Third down and ten. Rodgers over the middle. What a throw, Jennings. And a huge completion on third and ten. Packers go to the ground game to try and take some of this clock. Here starts to the 30. Just the tenth running play of this game, and it's 14 yards. There's Jennings at the top. Rodgers throws. James Jones. Not that one. That would have been a nice catch. 23-yard try. First of the game for Crosby drills it. Six-point game. Ben. A lot of contact. This ball is incomplete, but it was a fourth down pass, and Green Bay will take over. The final snap of Super Bowl 45. The Green Bay Packers have won the Super Bowl. Blacko. Pressure comes, gets rid of it. It's picked off. Steven Nelson takes it away, and he's looking to go the other way. Nelson has a convoy down the sideline. Touchdown. As good as he's played, he has thrown eight interceptions in his five starts. They heat the pocket up a little bit. Derek Barnett, number 95, forced it. And Flacco just not able to get enough on that football to throw it away. Couple great blocks. Cashman with a huge block. Stingley with the block at the. They run it. Flacco dials it up. Picked off again. Christian Harris is going to go. Back to back pick sixes. Houston, you have no problem with this defense. So here's Harris. His eyes are on the quarterback, and at the last minute, he breaks underneath in front of the intended target, Harrison. Texan team. One final kneel down. The Texan train rolls on, and the story of Stroud is just beginning. Houston, dominant, 45-14. Have the Bears defenders on their heels. Second and goal from the one. Trying to split through, and again, driving in for the touchdown. It's Dominique Rhodes. This is not a finesse offense. Good job up front. They get a stalemate and near the goal line. That's all you can really hope for. One and a first. Grossman. Look out here. He's intercepted. Picked off by Kelvin Hayden. And Hayden still running inside the 20. And Hayden may run it back all the way. He does. Kelvin Hayden. Chicago has been trying these double moves. Chicago area kid out of Hubbard High School. Now there could be a question, did he step out? I think his heel never came down. And there is a challenge flag on the field. Yeah, there's a couple chances, Jim. Here's one, gonna be a good shot. And down the field. He's still, oh, still he's in. in play. And wait, as he goes down, couple... Well, they're upset by the touchdown, but I meant... After reviewing the play, the runner did not step out of bounds. The ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. Voices ever. Grossman firing for the first and gets it. Ball pops out. Picked up. Now they call it incomplete. Whistle dead. That's Bethea who picked it up. Giordano had just come in as they countered the five receiver formation and their wives. Every employee was brought down from the cafeteria staff, janitorial staff, grounds crew. They're all here to see the Colts of Indianapolis win Super Bowl 41. In the pocket, fires and it'll be caught for the touchdown. Evan Ingram, ETN in the backfield. Lawrence looking under pressure, throws wide open, making the catch. Marvin Jones for the touchdown. 
Lawrence protecting well. Going deep. Has a man open again. Zay Jones for the touchdown. For Cameron Dicker. And this time, no good. Lawrence fires into the end zone. Caught. And Lawrence reaches over and scores. Three backs behind him. To the outside. ETN. First down and a ton more. Likely on Kansas City. Here we go for the win. You guys can make sure to tackle. Because if you... I, I just wouldn't want to give Mahomes. I, I don't necessarily agree with that. He launches it deep. They that got defense it. got beaten up like that. To this right point. They're going to have a chance. Hurts to have one of those long-range Hail Mary kicks. Got to throw it right away right now to someone in the middle. Down the middle. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be a 48-yard attempt. So uh, hundreds of thousands around the planet. The kick. Is good. From the pocket, wide open. Hardman, we've seen this already. As he takes off and goes out of bounds at the seven. Looking to the end zone for the win. He caught it. Ball game. Chiefs. To the championship game. These two guys know each other. Unbelievable. This, this is just unfathomable. We knew that if they came in the way that they came into that game, we played them in the season, we could beat them. You know, I was ready once I stepped on that field. I, you know, I still had something to prove to myself and to whoever else. Plunkett on a straight drop back. Here comes the rush. Steps up. Can't find anybody yet. Tits off running to the left. Rolls on the move. And it's caught by Kim at the 40. Plunkett's eating us alive. In just three months, Jim Plunkett had gone from Heisman bust to super savior. Three touchdown passes capped one of the greatest personal comebacks in NFL history. Jim Plunkett had a masterful. He was everywhere. He was everywhere. He had three interceptions. He wasn't Bobby Chandler. But with a little bit of stickum, he could hang on to the thing. That was probably compliments of the judge. He played as good a Super Bowl as any defender has ever played. Did not get the MVP. Jim Plunkett got the MVP. Jim deserved it, but Rod deserved it just as much. I felt really, really good for Jim because he had paid his dues. Just like everyone else. Humphreys goes long. Has a man, Martin. Touchdown. Oh. No flag on the field, although, let's see, maybe there is. Roughing the pass. It's against Pittsburgh. Touchdown's good. The penalty will be administered on the kickoff. Throw by Stan Humphreys. And Tony Martin, like Sean Jefferson, you never see when they're putting... Incomplete, and it was Dennis Gibson on the coverage. And the San Diego Chargers... Flood the field. With a minute and four seconds left in this situation. Uh, they bought, the ball is intended for Barry Foster. And Gibson does a great job. He reads it all the way, knocks the ball away. Beautifully done by Gibson. You can see the sideline of the San Diego Chargers explode. Uh, even Barry Foster is falling down, sliding. And a Dennis Gibson one of those. Four runs, ten passes. Second to go. Pass. Cut. Got it. Touchdown. Al, I've got to tell you, in a pressure situation, I don't know if I have ever seen anybody be better than Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup.
They had no choice. That was the entirety of their passing game, and they got it done for the go-ahead touchdown. Match made and having the two get to, they'll go from the gun. P. Ryan in the backfield. Burrow trying to keep it going, gets spun down, gets it away, and incomplete. It looked like P. Ryan might have had a shot to make the grab, but the Rams now running down to celebrate with a defensive play. And guess who? Guess who? I mean, you don't even have to think about it. Do not even have to think about it. Pointing to the ring finger. When everything was on the line for the Rams, everything. Yes, we know it was Aaron Donald, but we also know it was Cooper Cup. So the two superstars on both sides of the ball. For the In 1972, the Miami Dolphins became the first and only team in NFL history to go through an entire season unbeaten. The strength of Don Shula's team was in its balance rather than its brilliance, though there were performers of superstar quality on the roster. Basically, Miami ran a conservative, straight-ahead offense that featured number 39 fullback Larry Zonka. It was grinding, steady, mistake-proof football. On defense as well, Miami allowed its opponents no margin for error. Before the coming of Don Shula, the Dolphins... In Super Bowl VII, only the Washington Redskins stood between Miami and football immortality. The Dolphins defeated the Redskins and ended the year with 17 wins and no defeats. For one season, no team was ever better than Don Shula's 1972 Miami Dolphins. Keenum's going to try to work the ball on the boundary. Keenum steps into it, passes, caught! Diggs! Sideline! Touchdown! see Marcus Williams here he has a shot I'm not sure really what he's thinking Joe he comes in he's got him dialed in and he just all he's got to do is make a play and even if he catches it you tackle him in bounds the game is over and I know Diggs he's he's catching this he's expecting somebody to hit him and he turns around heck nobody's there and he's off to the races and it's pandemonium 61 brilliant yards for Stefan Diggs and Case Keenum has just taken the Minnesota Vikings to the NFC Championship game. Hand off. Touchdown, James White. A two point play. This is it. The time left. Even if it is time for Atlanta. That's Amendola. Flag is down. Amendola's in. Toss to White. He's in. Patriots win the Super Bowl. Brady has his fifth. What a comeback. Another look to make sure. James White driving. They've already shot off the confetti. Fans are on the field. And it looks like a good touchdown. Yeah, it does. 
And Hartley is good again. As time runs out on the first half, Saints open it uh, every time he comes off the field. Onside kick to start the second half. And the ball bounces off the hands of a Colt. And it looks like the Saints had it for a second. Are you and it's Saints football. They recover the onside kick. What a fearless start to the second half. Really unbelievable decision by Sean Payton. Team. Set up screen to Thomas. Inside the 10. Thomas weaving at the 5. And he's in. And the Saints have taken the lead at the Super Bowl. Even closer in the second quarter. Second and goal. This time they've got the catch and the touchdown. Jeremy Shockey has a Super Bowl catch and a score. And the Saints have the lead. And in coverage. Picked off. Look out. Gets past Manny. And it's Tracy Porter taking it all the way. Touchdown, New Orleans. And their favorite play. The outside receiver. Oh, he's coming under. The timing was not there. And Tracy Porter, the quickest, fastest defensive back for the New All. And he kept the coach offense off the field. Mr. Benson, their owner since 1985 in his 25th year, the one who hired Mickey Loomis and Sean Payton, signed Drew Brees. Brees was one that could have been playing here as his home stadium, but the Dolphins, you know what, they just cast too much doubt. They were too suspicious that his shoulder wasn't going to heal, and Brees didn't like the, the attitude and the vibe. He said, New Orleans wanted me. Yeah, that's right. They wanted him. Sean Payton said, come down here. I will let you help me design this offense. I'd say it worked out pretty well in four years. A franchise that was born eight months after the first Super Bowl game. They struggled for Extra men on the rush as the pass is complete to Toomer. He's got a first down with an 11-yard gain from Eli Manning. Third down and 10. Another low snap. Manning backpedaling completes to Toomer. And it depends on the spot of the catch by Toomer. Here we go. Brandon Jacobs. Looked like he got it with pressure from Thomas off the edge. Eli Manning. Stays on his feet, airs it out down the field. It is caught by Tyree. Inside the 25 and a timeout taken. Oh my God. This ball is thrown and Tyree just goes up for it like a basketball player. Harrison trying to knock it down. And Eli, man, I don't know how he got out of there. I thought he was on the ground and and then he came out of the pile and just slings it. That's a great catch by David Tyree. And now with 59 seconds left, the Giants needing a touchdown. The ball is at the New England 11. Manning to the sideline completes. And Steve. Manning lobs it. Burris alone. Touchdown, New York. Burris, a great job. Ellis Hobbs in coverage. He starts to the inside just enough to sell the slant. And then he goes to the corner. They call that the slant and go route, sluggo route, and it worked beautifully. Eli Manning puts a little pump fake on him to get him to bite and then goes to the corner. I tell you. Brady steps up. 
throws. Downfield, broken up. Two seconds left as the Giants take over. Maynard, acting primarily as a decoy, did not register a catch all game. Namath picked apart the Colts by spreading the ball to the rest of the team. Anybody get killed in this game? He has killed Baltimore so far. Now it's been the outstanding runner so far. He's in there. Still four. In the final quarter, Namath put the game in the hands of number 41, fullback Matt Snell. Snell ate the clock, moved the chains, and propelled the Jets into history. Fourth and goal. Uh -oh. And they're going to snap it. And it's Trey Burton who throws caught. Foles. Touchdown. Here we go. They've got all these signals. Shotgun. He would not have been eligible, but for the fact he was in the shotgun, not under center. And there's the old basketball player. They talk about Nick Foles. He's more comfortable playing quarterback like a point guard and here he is receiving the pass that he's got that line does a good job the pass into the end zone and it is Corey Clement yes touchdown how about how many times Al do we come into the Super Bowl and we say who mm -hmm. is it who's the unknown Take a look here. Starts to lose control. And then that left foot. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Five, one on one. Clement flares out to the right. Caught over the middle and into the end zone. Zach Ertz for the touchdown. And again, all you can think back to now is the Jesse James play. And the whole thing is, is do you rule him a runner at Football this point? Move. And I, but they call him a runner. He, I, he breaks the plane as a runner. If if that if it stays, that's going to be the reason. I think he was running and diving for the end zone. But what constitutes going to the ground? It's always close. It's, it's subjective. But it's always if you're a runner, it's one thing. If you receive it, it's another thing. The review. The receiver possesses the football, becomes a runner. Breaks the plane of the goal line. The ruling is confirmed. It is Let him run freely off this ball. Brady under pressure. Escapes the sack. Launching one for the end zone. It's a jump ball and it's oh. incomplete. And Grock was there. And time runs out. This is the end of the game. And for the Philadelphia Eagles, the long drought is over. Finally. Washington outside left. Roethlisberger has time. Throws to the back of the end zone. And it is caught for a touchdown by Holmes. Unbelievable. Incredible. <laughs> The official comes in. Let's just make sure he's in on a play like this. Obviously, they will take a long look upstairs. Ben to the corner of the end zone. Does he get both feet down? Left definitely. Did the right tap as well with control. You have Great to have control both feet ben. down. I say yes. I, I do say too. both feet in, both feet down. And control of the ball. Amazing. Three Cardinals are there. You've got three guys. The, yeah, the he right, had it on the other side in the play before, though. Right. The right foot is coming up, but it's down on the ground. Is it down on the ground? Does he toe tap it as he has control of the ball? He has control all the way through, and that's the whole issue right there. 
Right, I say he has both feet down and control of the ball. We have 35 seconds. If it stands with the extra point, you've got a four point game and then Warner and company with two timeouts would have to go the length of the field. First and goal from the five. Young to Floyd. Touchdown. <laughs> Far a couple of years back and a Super Bowl. Third and three now after the timeout. And the Chargers blitz, but Young gets it off to Ricky Waters for the touchdown. Well, I'll tell you, the Chargers yeah. don't blitz. We'll see more of Ricky Waters at receiver. All right, Leslie, and they fake it to Waters, and it's Jerry Rice. Nicely done. Eight-yard sack, third and 17. They have to get to the 36th for a first <laughs> down, and they get to the 32. Lock up. You don't give him 10 yards beyond that. Darry Gordon back into the secondary as Young scrambles and hits Taylor. A flag is down. Another broken tackle, yet another. What a fine block by Wallace. Second and three, and Ricky Waters cuts it back for the touchdown. Uh, Steve Young raised his arm. Singleton in motion. Waters swinging to the outside, and Ricky picks up. What kind of shuffling happens around the inside of that line? Sapola moved from center to guard and made the Pro Bowl in another position. Second and ten, Young on the run. 10-49ers will be in the Pro Bowl next Sunday. It's third and 13 at the 15 after the timeout. Young throws. Jerry Rice. Touchdown. Who's leading by 23. Humphreys putting it up. And it is out of the end zone. And why not? Dion out of the end zone winds up with the football. He gets the game ball. It's snapped over the head of Peyton Manning. A flag is down, and the ball's out of the back of the end zone. It's a safety to start this. Manning gets hit. Ball up for grabs. Picked off by Smith. Malcolm Smith. All alone. No flags. Touchdown, Seattle. Orlando Franklin, he just drives him right back into Peyton Manning. Ball comes up, and then you've got Malcolm Jenkins, excuse me, Malcolm Smith, who makes a play on the ball. The receiver in the area, he does not come back to the football. Malcolm Smith does. Another 58 yards in his one regular season game against his former team, the Vikings, and they just pop it up. Good kick by Prater on a hop. It's Harvin. But now he takes off, and Percy Harvin gets free. Percy Harvin inside the 30. He's going to go. Touchdown, Seattle. Not that jelly pop it up because they don't want Percy Harvin to return this ball. And it's just terrible play by the special teams of the Denver Broncos in coverage. They had a number of guys with an opportunity to make a play on Percy Harvin before he got going. And once he did, there's nobody on this field. 21 other guys, nobody can run like Percy Harvin. Hip surgery in August. He missed the championship game with a concussion. Should be it. Dominant performance across the board. Pete Carroll, the Seattle Seahawks, winding their way, 15 seconds away officially. Second and goal. Instead, it's all Scott into the end zone for the game's first touchdown. And Johnson to the outside, caught by McCardell, spins away from the coverage. Charles Woodson, the defender, touchdown. McCardell's going to run up, and if he doesn't get by him, he throws it to the back shoulder. That's exactly what he did there. You see, now Woodson is playing the front shoulder. Two, five. Second and two. Again, to the outside, and it is intercepted by Dwight Smith, the nickelback. And he gets by Gannon and goes in for the touchdown. He tried to hit Jerry. 
And you see him off here. He's just playing zone. And he just reads it. You see, he was he was like 10 yards off of Jerry Rice. And, and as we said the whole time, the thing that these guys do the best is they key the quarterback's eye. So he goes right through Middleton, goes right through that double team. Third and 18, and this is going to write a finish. Derek Brooks, who ran back three interceptions for touchdowns in the regular season, does it to cement the Super Bowl. And when you throw the ball, he ends up right in the middle of the field. Do they think he's going to be out there by the numbers? And he does that better than others and coaches and fans and everyone. You have to remember this all your life. That's tip, and that's a fifth pick of the game by Dwight Smith. And again, Dwight Smith is going to take it down the sideline into the end zone. Wow. Just as I'm learning that Dexter Jackson had... I'll vote for Dwight Smith. No, but I think, I mean, I still stay with, with mine. I mean, Dexter Jackson, and congratulations to him and, and everyone. But, but 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 this thing was won and controlled by the defensive line. That's It was. That's where, that's where it all started for this Buck team. And I, I know it's Florida, and I know it's hanging chads and all that stuff, but Jackson's two picks were, were usually important. I mean, this is just, this is a... Uh, a and take my chances on a return as opposed to squib kicking it, let him get it with about 12 seconds to go and a possibility for a play. Dyson and Bird are deep. Taken by Neal. He gives it to Wycheck. Wycheck, that looked like a forward pass. Taken by Dyson. Dyson down the sideline. Dyson's going to go all the way. And there is no play. From the best angle I can give you, you see Wycheck start to the right. Now, is Dyson behind him? That's the question. No, it's a forward pass. This is where he is. This is where he is. But he steps back. That's a forward pass. It's gonna, I'll tell you why it's going to be hard to tell. Because the ball is right on the line. You can't look at the body of the, of the people. I think you have to watch it again. Here they come. Here comes the officials. Now he's on the line, okay? He's on the line and he catches it on the line. It's gonna I, I don't know. I gotta be honest with you. I think it's a lot closer call. We can go back to the other angle. He's on the line, and you watch where it's caught. You it's caught what? on the line. That, oh, I, is that close? No, I'm saying it's real close. It's a lot closer when you look at it than we thought, Mike. I agree with you, and Paul as well. From that angle, hey, that looks like it's a lateral. It's a lateral. That is amazing. Because That's what he's in front of the line, and, and, and look at this. That's what I'm saying. It's the, You have to see where he throws the You're ball right. from. You can't look at the body. It's where the ball is to where the ball goes. That's what I'm saying. The, the, ball, ball, the ball is above the line a little bit. This ball is above the line a little bit. I think it's tough to... In his body motion, he is throwing the ball back. Here they come. Stands, it was a lateral. Wow. Wow. What an incredible play. ...around in this first half. Second and nine at the 10, ripping outside the fire. Touchdown, Redskin. We talked about control of the line of scrimmage. The Redskins have it. Control of the line of scrimmage brings confidence, and confidence brings... He's a lone running back. Ripping his back to throw it. Going deep. Touchdown, Redskins. Clark. From 30 yards away, it's ripping. Yeah, the pass protection has been there. Mark Rippon is throwing perfect passes. I think he's the best at this, the best deep toucher is. Kelly back to throw it, going deep. That has every chance of being intercepted and is by the Redskins. That's Brad Edwards with the football. Edwards is down at about the Buffalo 34. That's the fifth turnover. First and 10 at the 33. <laughs> Ricky Urban. Out of Red 
Skins 37 24. That's Irvin. Irvin down inside the Buffalo 30 before he's tripped up. Irvin again. Irvin again around the corner. Down to about the 21 of a third two. Irvin again. First down, red again. When you walk outside, it just soaks through you. But in the end, everyone is together. The Redskins just got on top and wore them down. Griffin just deals. Kelly is through. Reich's the quarterback. Outside of Davis. Davis hammers away, and the clock will keep running. And again, Wilbur Marshall made the stop. The Redskins.